Previously on X-Men. From my perspective, which is part of the attitude of typical normie types, I guess, in these situations, I'm largely okay with what's going on because it's not my story to tell. So I got no, I don't feel I have really any right to say what they're doing wrong. Kind of got called on a point with my Game of Thrones uh, thing. Many things that uh, with Discovery, it's not our story to tell. So I should I need to back off and suck it up. Okay. It doesn't matter what really. Benny off and what this you know do Weiss or even George R. R. Martin himself come in and and if they have you know Daenerys go on that dragon and burn King's Landing to the ground. And then do the same thing to Westeros and everything else in between. If that's the story George wants to tell, fine. Like it or don't like it. The difference is, no matter what they do, they're not screwing up 50 years, over 50 years of established continuity. That is what Discovery's done in the first 10 minutes of that damn show, and they never look back on that front. That's the difference. This is all George R. R. Martin's story to play with as he wants to. And, you know, like Gears, it may be just the, you know, <laughs> the latest of the world's biggest troll right now, the way he's doing the story. That's his right, his story to tell. Kurtzman doesn't have that right with Star Trek. He doesn't have the, the moral right to just upend the whole thing just because he's in charge, okay? Like I said with the, the example of Denny O'Neill and the time that uh, Robin got killed, and he got called, even though it wasn't Dick Grayson, it was, you know, Jason Todd. You're in that position. You're no longer, you know, just writing a story. You are now the caretakers of a, of a modern mythology, you know, and, and cultural folktale there. You have to maintain a certain, you know, certain level. You have to maintain the history. Game of Thrones ain't there. It's still one story. You got a series of books not finished. You got a, a television series, almost well, well finished in the can, but hasn't you know last one hasn't aired yet. The prequels, you know, I don't know if they're in there in production or not, but they haven't aired yet, so they don't count yet. They can still be canceled, never seen. One show does not a franchise make, okay? So no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, you can't you know flip it around. Well, you can't think about Star Trek then. No, I have, I can play say say plenty about Star Trek. I suggest you go back and uh, rewatch my little you know, thing where I'm reading that c column by Doug Drexler. Roddenberry deliberately made a move to make the fans a part of the whole thing, or at least make feel they're a part of the whole thing. He, he very much valued the fans. He, he, they kind of got on his nerves once in a while, but he definitely valued our input and, and our presence and our support. So, don't even try and equate this, you know, you know what's going on with Game of Thrones and what's going on with Star Trek. Because it doesn't work that way. Now, like I said, we are, we are needing that. Well, I want to get this show to do a Kingsland. And it doesn't, and it's not going to take a lot, really. It's just a few hundred bucks from, you know, all sources, and we can get the books balanced up and up, and we can get the, get this thing up to Kingsland and do a, do another thing up there, and hopefully more up there than we did last time. Because we don't need more video of me sitting in the captain's chair. We, need, we want to get, talk to the guys up there, get get an interview too. Steph is doing fine. Uh, one way or the other, she's coming out in a couple of weeks because you know when they start charging copays we can't afford she's got to come out but by then she should be fine you'll be up and walking and we'll be more or less you know normal. and other matters will also be starting to clear up and get us out of this mess finally but in the meantime in the short term yes we need your help so paypal patreon all the other things back down below but really it all feeds back into paypal anyway so better i'll just go straight to paypal and the Patreon is, you know, for ongoing support. But the immediate support, I'm really pushing this PayPal because I, I, 
if you know if random can hype you know go to you know Vegas, you know, I just went to Kingsland. It's Kingsland, Georgia. Three hours that away, you know. <laughs> At a Motel Six. And ultimately, yeah, it is, it is, you know, one of the ideas looking at is I'm still bookmarking houses up there on uh, Trulia. And decent, you know, decent, you know, prices up there for pretty good houses. So that might be the ultimate place, or if the money's right, it might be going back to Denver. So, yeah, if the money's not so hot, maybe Cleveland. Who knows? Always possibilities. I'm up, I'm trying to corner all the different possibilities where we might wind up here. Either way, I'm hoping we're going to wind up somewhere so we can actually sit down and mm, stop calling this vehicle home. You know. So, links down below, and I'll talk at you later. I might have something else later today, but you know, got to keep this at least one a day. So, catch you later.